Hello YouTube, JT Serenity Farms prepping here. So, the commies in the New York State Senate are at it again. Assembly Bill A7, I'm sorry, A279 relates to adult jibber jab reporting requirements. Okay, it's sponsored by some scumbag named Gottfried, and the current bill status is in assembly committee. And there are several other co-sponsors, about 20, that if you click on the bill, here's four more. But if you hit the additional co-sponsors, there's about 10 more. <clears throat> okay, so... A, 279 details. C, Senate version of the bill would be S75. It's currently in the assembly rules. It's under the public health law section and administrative law 2168 public health would be affected by it. And there are two other versions introduced in the 2019-2020 legislative session. I wonder why. How did they know that they would need those laws? So a summary of this communist manifesto is A279 requires a health care provider who administers a jibber jab to a person 19 years of age or older to report such information to the Department of Health or to a regional health information organization unless such person objects to such reporting. Yeah, okay. So some text of Bill A279 introduced by M of A Gottfried. They want to amend the public health law. Of course, that's where all these bills go and what they do. Section 1, paragraph B of subdivision 3 of section 2168 of the public health law as amended by chapter 420 of the laws of 2014 is amended to read as follows. Any healthcare provider who administers a jibber jab to a person 19 years of age or older may, parentheses, shall report with the consent of the jabbed, all such immunizations to the department in a format prescribed by the commissioner within 14 days of administration of such jab. Healthcare providers administering immunizations to persons 19 years of older in the city of New York shall report with the consent of the jabbed in a format prescribed by the City of New York Commissioner of Health and Mental Hygiene. Really? All such jabs to the Citywide Immunization Registry. Isn't that a nice word? The reporting by a healthcare provider of administration of a jab to a person 19 years of age or older to a regional health information organization or other health information exchange shall satisfy the reporting requirements and then in this section if such data is provided by the regional health information organization or health information exchange to the department or citywide immunization registry two a registered professional nurse or pharmacist who administers a jab pursuant to subdivision two of the section 68 101 of the education law to a person 19 or older shall report with the consent all such immunizations to the department in a format prescribed by the commissioner within 14 days of administration of such immunizations. Registered nurses or pharmacists administering immunizations pursuant to the subdivisions of the 19-year-old or older in a format prescribed in New York City, blah, blah, blah. Same thing. So, this act shall take effect on the 19th day after it has become law. Okay. So, 
Do you think this reads any other way than the way that we're going to interpret it? I do not. I know for a fact they have one goal with this and one goal in mind. Immunization passports. We know this. We know that's their goal. We also know it has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with being able to control where you go, who you see, buy, sell, trade, exist. That's what it's for. Make no mistake. You know it, and I know it. You saw what Oregon did just a couple days ago, right? Requiring everyone. Okay, now that'll get in court. You already have five counties in Oregon trying to join Idaho to escape the communism in that cesspool. So what's the big push? Uh, you know, they need to get this pass through and do what they do and signed by Como before he's potentially arrested, imprisoned, impeached, and maybe finally done away with. But the bottom line is this is simply to track and control you. The corporations and the businesses have gotten their cues from the Pedo Joe administration. Repeatedly circle back, steps up there, flops her hair, and tells everyone that the regime is not going to mandate the jibber jab or the immunization passports to anyone. But all businesses have the right to enforce their own rules as they see fit. And if they so choose to mandate these things, we won't stand in the way. So that was like dog whistle, libtard, smoke signal code. Do it. We'll back you. It's what we want anyway. Just keep funneling us money. We knew it was coming. We've known everything was coming. Keep your eye on this. There are uh, things in the works trying to stop it. But you see on the date of this, it was like January 2021. We're in May. I didn't even hear about it until today. That's how they do things. In the dead of night, <clears throat> in that socialist-controlled Senate and legislation in Albany. It's time for calls, emails, resistance. We've got to do it. I'll keep you posted as I get updates on this now. Like, share, subscribe, comment, notification bell. But for now, JT, signing out.